we're talking to head coach Otto Matamaker and coach the season ended a couple couple weeks ago and once again it was a fine season turned in by the Titans they really turned it around you know just your overall thoughts of the season that you've had some time to unwind it really is incredible what our girls have been able to do this past year uh, to start how we started and our confidence was low and uh, just didn't know what the future held and when those games were they were you know, they weren't out of hand, they weren't out of reach, they were one and two points, so we just kept telling them to hang in there. Uh, but I know that they were down and just ready to at some point turn the corner, and I'm just really glad they turned the corner when they did, which was in December when we had that uh, string of, of games with IPFW in Eastern Michigan and Western Michigan. Uh, that was really the turning point of our season where I think that everybody finally uh, jumped onto the same page full force. Uh, which could have been a better Christmas present for the Titans, I would say. Uh, and then rolled into the conference, kind of like we did two years ago. They knew it, it could be done because a lot of those kids were a part of it. Uh, so I believe that they really bought into the fact that, hey, this is really mirroring two years ago, and we can do the same thing that we did then, and I think we're even more powerful uh, this past year. And then being able to, you know, I still think about uh, uh, us going into Green Bay and then being ranked number nine in the country and having an all-American on their team, uh, Julie White had being awarded uh, that at the end of the season, uh, and being able to be victorious, and it just, it's its a little bit surreal, uh, but I'm just so happy that we were able to come out the way we did and get the automatic bid into the NIT, uh, WNIT, and gave Toledo a good fight. We just kind of ran out of gas at that point, uh, but just so happy that the seniors, Jaleesa Jones and and Laura and Allen were able to walk away with a, a great taste in their mouth knowing they did all they could and uh, just had wonderful careers here at Detroit. And then, of course, you know, the future looks extremely bright with uh, Sharita and a lot of our other kids on the team. So uh, just uh, what a roller coaster ride, but it was a, it was a fun one. We ended up on the, on the positive side of things. So just looking forward to uh, we've been back to work uh, with our girls as far as conditioning and getting bigger, faster, stronger. So all of them have uh, been had great attitudes up to this point and just uh, looking forward to the summer where they're going to have to be on their own to work on their own game. And so just excited to see who comes back ready to go. Coach, you mentioned it before, you know, early in the season, you know, the slide that the Titans got off 0-6, 1-8. There were a lot of close games in there. I mean, do you think that really helped, you know, build the team strength a little bit like listen we're, we're right there we're not losing by 10 12 points we're, we're a, it's a basket here it's a possession there and that might have been a little bit more easier to overcome you know than maybe getting blown out and you know in terms of an, a slow start I think so I think as a coach you have to find every angle that keeps your players motivated when you don't end up winning that particular game and you just gotta even though a lot of times they don't want to hear it uh, because they are disappointed that they lost, we had to just keep continuing. You're right there, you're right there. And like you said, it is, maybe it's a missed rebound here, maybe it's a missed box out, maybe it's a, a missed layup that happened early in the first half that really could have made the difference. Um, so I think that it, we, we just really focused and emphasized playing every possession to the best that we possibly could. And, and you know what, that feeling of losing by one or two points, I really do think it did help us in the end. Coach, you know, talk about you know some of your players. Obviously, Sharita Brown, just as a freshman, had a monster season for you. And you know, the question would always be asked anytime a rookie steps in there. I mean, did you really expect her to have this kind of impact? And you know, I think you really thought she'd have an impact. But you know, at the end of the year, to see what she did, I don't know if any coach could expect a freshman, an 18-year-old, to come in here and and really lead the team like she did. It, it was one of the most amazing performances I've ever seen in my lifetime, and that's overall, period. And the fact that she was just a freshman is just uh, an incredible thing for her. I'm just I'm super excited with what she was able to do. I, I feel like uh, she did have those capabilities because when you do watch her in an AAU scenario or a high school scenario, clearly every, every player on the team is uh, surrounding her, so she's wasn't able to do as much in high school, which is probably what prohibited her from getting a whole lot of accolades there because uh, her numbers weren't good enough. But um, coming into college when there are other solid players around her that the defense has to defend, uh, she it opened it up for her early. Now toward the end, uh, she was kind of facing those same AAU high school defenses where they just had everyone climbing all over her. Um, and she still did a great job. She still managed to... Um, 
perform under those conditions and we just need to make sure that we have everybody else ready to step up and when they throw those kinds of uh, smothering defenses at Sharita that everyone else can step up and make plays. One thing you just mentioned was about opening up for other players. I mean, one thing that the, uh, the down low game really opened up was outside and today's year, another young player, a sophomore, I mean, she really had just an outstanding season. I mean, really when the Titans kicked it in the gear is when she kicked it in the gear. And, you know, was, she suffered an injury at the end of the year, which was uh, which was sad. But once again, when you look at her, in fact, you have, she has two years left. It's just an unbelievable player you have there. Oh, no question. And like I said, it was it must have been just fate, her coming in uh, and having other players injured, which allowed her to come and perform the way that she did. It all started second half of the Michigan game where she went 5 of 10 from the three-point line. The poor thing hadn't made a three-point shot in 10 games. She was 0 for 17 at one point. Uh, we knew she was a great shooter. She just wasn't performing in the games as well. Uh, sometimes in practice she was getting a little out of control and we necessarily couldn't trust her with the ball that much because uh, we do take stats in practice and she was turning it over. and. Uh, so she did get her one shot, and that never deterred her from coming in and doing extra. And when it was her turn, um, she was she was ready to go, and she stepped up. And from then on, she just was on fire, and her confidence just went right through the roof. So having those two players, uh, as well as obviously our veteran guards, uh, Jaleesa and Lauren, um, really knowing where the ball needed to go. Uh, and then, of course, Yar coming off the bench was was another uh, great addition for us and a new role with, that she just told, absolutely excelled in. So we somehow, some way, put it all together. And of course, we can't forget Meg. I can't forget Meg Hatter, who really came in and, and just made three point shots when we needed it, did all the dirty work. And for whatever reason, uh, we found our stride when Sine came into the lineup, and that's when it really got exciting. Coach, you know, you talked about your two seniors there. I mean, you know, you've coached a lot of seniors as an assistant coach. You know, four of your players have come under you. This is your first four-year co uh, senior group as a head coach. I mean, and these are the players who, you know, stuck it out, really, you know, went through some tough times. But, you know, in terms of four years and what they were coming into, had a great career here. And just, you know, I know you have a lot of admiration for them. But, you know, talk about Jaleesa Jones and, and Lauren Allen and really what they did in their careers. I mean, it, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> we we, we kind of laugh because we say, you know what, to survive four years, um, and I don't say under myself, but here, because it is tough. It is tough, and you are going to have your moments. There's going to be tons of ups and downs, and, and there, were, there were some down times when you know, they could have easily thrown in the towel when the, when, the, <laughs> when it just wasn't working out for them. But I just, the fact that they have weathered every storm uh, that has come through and that will graduate here in the next couple weeks here from Detroit. Uh, I just, I really, my hat goes off to them that they believed in me and they trusted in our coaches and in our system. And they just, they were able to finish their career uh, outside of an NCAA tournament bid better than they possibly could have ever imagined. And I just, I'm so glad that those two names are going to be in the books for uh, a very long time uh, because I don't know how many freshmen will start for four years. I mean, it takes some special kids, but uh, those two are very special. And I, I hope they'll come around and I will always refer to them in, in practices from here on out um, for the time I'm a, I'm a head coach for forever. So I just, I'm just really proud of them. I, I just can't say enough about those two and what they did and what they did for this program. And Coach, last question. I mean, with the 21 season, the WNIT appearance, um, and even though, you know, they did not win the Horizon Championship, did not make the NCAAs, I mean, do you see a hunger in the players you have coming back so far in the early workouts and just in, in meetings? I mean, do you see that hunger like, listen, we, we had a great season, but there's still a whole lot more to accomplish here? Oh, exactly. I, You know, right after we got done, we – gave them a couple days off, but they came back ready to go. And our our posture was, you know what, you're exactly right. That's a great job. We're very proud of you. But the Horizon League tournament champions, regular season champion, NCAA bid bus is out front. So uh, if you, if you want to get on it, like, let's get on it. If you don't want to get on it, uh, <laughs> then, then hey, then that's that's going to be up to you. If you're satisfied, if you're content going to the WNIT, 
uh, then you know what, I need to go seek out other players that want to go the distance and are willing to put in the work uh, on the off season, on the in season, ready to be pushed, ready to be uh, to maximize their potential. And they all shook their heads and said, "Coach, you know what, we're not we're not done. We're not done. We absolutely want to." be at the top of this league. We want to host the tournament. We want to get to the NCAA tournament. We know we're right there and we're willing to do whatever it takes to get there.